This is the Global Economic Commodities Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by Benley Roloff Trailers and Pup Trailers, February 3rd, 2020. U.S. weekly steel production was steady at 1.928 million tons on a slow growth economy and as consumer spending remains pretty solid. Oil fell hard to 51.53 a barrel on concerns about the coronavirus, which could slow the global economy. U.S. weekly oil production was steady at 13 million barrels a day, the all-time record from a few weeks ago. This is great for U.S. jobs and brings lower prices of gasoline and other energy products. Iron ore rose slightly to 96.50 a ton due to supply disruptions, including a port fire and a major cyclone. Scrap steel number one heavy melt was steady at $259.33 a gross ton, but prices could be down $20 or more gross ton this week due to scrap being in good supply and the slowing global economy. We heard a large steel mill in the southeast was being slammed with material coming in before the price decrease. Hot rolled coil steel fell to $29.74.00 on slow demand and prices could fall further as scrap prices fall. Copper fell very hard to 251 a pound as health emergencies are being declared around the world and China's economy actually continues to be shut down. Aluminum fell to 77.8 cents per pound on the same concerns about the global economy due to the coronavirus. The Eurozone, an economy about the size of the U.S., had its fourth quarter growth fall to a mere 0.1% and 1.2% for all of 2019. This is very bad news. China's January manufacturing index fell to 50, which since 50 is the neutral mark that separates growth from contraction, that means no growth. This was before the coronavirus had a major effect but new orders did rise. Overall, this will pressure downward commodity prices. U.S. growth GDP was 2.1% for the fourth quarter of last year, and now the first reading for total 2019 was 2.3%, down from 2.9% in 2018. This year, 2020 could be 2.0, not the forecasted 4, 5, and 6% or more growth. We must find ways to grow our economy faster. U.S. consumer sentiment for January rose to 99.8, the highest reading in eight months, with low unemployment and record gains in income and wealth. Consumer sentiment and spending supports growth, so that's great news. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 734 points to 28,256 on concerns about the coronavirus and global slowing. We remain very optimistic long term, but this is a very, very serious set of issues. For those in the U.S., the 30-year U.S. Treasury bond is low due to China's virus and global slowing. So the 30-year mortgage, which is linked to 30-year bonds, are near 50-year lows. Save money, consider refinancing, your home mortgage. The average 30-year mortgage is now 3.49%. For those that have not signed up, plan to be at the number one trade show for recycling in Las Vegas, ISRI 2020. A great opportunity to learn the latest to be a safer business that can grow profitably. As always, feel free to call, leave a message on LinkedIn, or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.